and welcome back to the channel on this video I want to talk about e-bike batteries and chargers you hear a lot of talk about batteries and sizes but we don't hear a whole lot about chargers and Sometimes you'll get situations uh, too where you'll have a dual battery set up on your bike but only have one charger. And I'll give you an example. I bought my Aerial Rider Grizzly in 2022 and it came with two chargers two five amp chargers too and uh then this year earlier i bought a lyric graffiti which i'm riding right now and it came i bought the dual battery uh bike and it came with only one charger and it's a three amp charger so there's definitely differences in the amps of the charger and whether they give you one or two if you have a dual battery set up or a single battery. And then other things uh, could be, uh, so the amps is gonna make a difference on how fast it charges and also how big the battery is and how far down your battery is as far as how far down is it fully drained or is it still got a lot in it uh, most of the time is uh, charging up the last 20% that takes the longest so from 80% up to 100% that's the uh, the uh, slowest uh, slowest uh, charging part of the battery and the first 80 or say from you don't let it drain completely you shouldn't anyway from about 20 to 80 that takes not so long but then the uh that last 20 percent so i'm going to give you a few uh examples of battery sizes and and uh the chargers that Came with it for example I was telling you about the Grizzly so I can charge both batteries up at the same time on that bike because it's got two chargers they are both 5 amp and one battery though is 20 amp hour and one's 15 so it's a little bit different they do have their own designated charger because they have a different plug on the end to fit into the battery they're both different so you have to use the one you can only use it for that one battery and vice versa for, for the other um, charger so uh, so I was going to give you an example of how long it takes this is assuming your battery is empty and needs to be fully charged so to charge up a the 15 amp hour battery on the uh, grizzly it takes with the 5 amp charger it takes about uh, 3.6 hours and the 20 amp hour battery the larger battery same size charger 5 amp takes 4.8 hours so pretty quick uh, considering most a lot of bikes will be in the uh, six to ten uh, hour to charge range, so getting that charged in uh, in the uh, three and a half to five hour uh, range for uh, if you plug them both in at the same time there, that's pretty good. So then uh, uh, a comparable would be like the uh, Graffiti, which is battery two batteries of 17 and a half amp hour. And I should have mentioned it was 52 volt on the uh, graffiti. So the 48 
or 52 volt as well, I should say, for the, uh, for the, uh, I'm not going to go that way, I'm going to go this way. So it's also 52 for the graffiti, but a 17 and a half amp hour battery. So right in between the 15 amp hour and 20 amp hour of the Grizzly falls uh, the graffiti. But the difference being the graffiti's charger that came with it is only a three point, uh, a three amp, I should say, hour. So you're losing some there. So it takes, to fully charge that battery up on the graffiti, this bike here, seven hours. So you can see the difference right there. And then the other bike, I have a Rad Rover 4. It's got a 14 amp hour battery, 48 volt, and the charger is a two amp. And that battery takes 8.4 hours to fully charge. So it takes longer even, even though it's a smaller battery. I'll give you an example of another bike uh, with a larger battery. The Onyx RCR, for example, has a 41 amp hour battery, 72 volt. And the charger that comes with that bike, you do get a charger with it, is a 10 amp hour. So it's a big charger. And to charge that battery up fully, seven hours so here's the here's the comparable then it takes seven hours to charge up a 41 amp hour 72 volt battery on the uh, onyx rcr uh, that's the same amount of time it takes this graffiti to charge up one of the batteries on it with the charger that they give you here for this bike so the charger makes a big difference now the charger for this, I think if you want to buy a new charger for the uh, for the graffiti, I think they're like $60 on the website, uh, Lyric website, Lyric Cycles. So I'll give you the difference. The Onyx RCR to buy a, a 10 amp charger, $340. So they're not cheap. And the Onyx RCR battery, a 41 amp hour battery, let's say you wanted to buy one of those, $2,000. So if you're wondering where the value of that bike is, basically 50% or just under 50% of it is in the battery and the charger. So that you're looking at $2,340 for uh, the charger and the battery. So mind you, that's a big battery. So, also if you're looking to buy the Onyx battery right now at $2,000, I uh, gotta tell you, I was looking at their site, those batteries actually are sold out right now. So even if you wanted to buy one, you can't. At the moment anyway, they're, they are uh, sold out. So, So generally, when you get a charger though, you'll usually get two to five amp chargers. You won't get very rarely beyond five, and it's not good to run uh, too big of a charger unless the uh, chemistry of the battery supports that amperage. You don't want to get mess messing with that, so that's why generally you'll get the charger that is safe for your battery from your uh, uh, the bike company, where, whoever you're buying the bike from. So you're usually good idea just to use the charger that comes with the with the bike. That's what I always do. But um, I would like to see uh, in the future if they could do something like uh, fast charging, where you would get a charge in one hour that would be the ultimate if we could get our bikes charged and it would only take one hour that'd be awesome the other thing that uh, is coming out a little bit more and more is you're starting to see a few bikes with onboard charging uh, with an onboard uh, charger I uh, absolutely love that idea um, 
that would uh, help in a lot of ways and one of the ways it would help is that you wouldn't need bigger and and do you know uh, double batteries or anything like that you could you could uh, you know pull in and get charged up somewhere uh, I do like that idea and an example of one company that's doing that now is Lyric Cycles both on their Voodoo and their Ghost bikes they are now um, coming in with uh, onboard charging on their new uh, updated model uh, of their bike if you haven't uh, checked into that ch go check out Lyric Cycles their new uh, updated versions of the uh, Voodoo and the Ghost they've went from a hub drive to a mid drive and, and they've got the onboard charger I will leave a link in the descriptions if you want to go check out Lyric Cycles if you haven't looked in a while and check out their bikes They've also got a brand new version of this uh, Lyric Graffiti. So uh, go give it a look-see and let me know what you think. There's another one coming out that they have coming out that I've got my eye on. That's uh, the Lyric Graffiti X. Basically, it's going to be a big brother to this graffiti here. So that's going to do it for this video. If you'd like to leave a comment in the comments below on uh, this topic or any other video on the channel, just go ahead and leave that in the comments section. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, just hit that subscribe button and thank you very much uh, for doing that. Also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified so once again thank you for joining me on this video as we talk a little bit about batteries and battery chargers and until next time take care